Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I've got a killer story. I'm gonna read a story about something that's going on today, right now in real estate, and then something that happened in 2006, 2007. And it literally proves my point how this is so easy to determine where we are in a real estate cycle, how big this real estate uh, crash is going to be and how you can make money from it. But first, before I get into it, if you could do me a big favor, there has been tons of people unsubscribed. If you could just check to see if you've been unsubscribed, if you wouldn't mind re-tapping that button for me, I'd appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, hit the thumbs up button. But I will tell you this, honestly, there are very few people that are out on the internet or out in the news right now that were real estate professionals and real estate investors back in 2001 to the crash of 2008, okay? You need to be very careful where you get your information from because there are a lot of people that tell you to buy the dip right now when houses are down 10 or 15%. I'm not a financial professional. I'm a real estate agent, licensed agent. I've owned a real estate brokerage myself too, but I'm telling you what, I'm a horrible real estate agent because I cannot sell anybody something that is going to fall like a brick in the next few years after buying it. So this is super, super simple. So let me get into this story. This is exactly why I wrote the real estate side hustle course. Guys, the real estate crash course, it's still 80% off because we're still filming. We're getting close to being done. I don't want anyone complaining that, oh my gosh, can I still get in? The price is going up when it's done, okay? So this is so simple to figure this stuff out and how to get ready for it. This is a story out of CNBC today. Home builder sentiment is uh, in February improved by the biggest amount in a decade. So what does that tell you? Oh my gosh, things are great. This is, it's rebounding. This is the time to buy. If I don't buy right now, I'm gonna miss out on the next bull run. That is what real estate agents and mortgage brokers are gonna tell you right now. Why? They work on a commission. Sorry to call you guys out, but I don't know if you guys know that. That's how it works. It's like going to a car salesman. <laughs> oh, this car is amazing. You don't, you don't wanna go anywhere else. This is the only one that's in the town. You just, real quick. I didn't even have a, a smartphone back when I was real estate investing in real estate. Holy cow. I wish I did. I wish I could literally get onto Google Earth and look into someone's, my neighbor's backyard of the potential house I'm going to buy and go, they're trashy. I don't want them as neighbors. I don't want my tenants having them as neighbors. I can't imagine all the access for information, but yet today we still find most human beings caught in this cycle of homes going up and they buy and then they come crashing down every seven to 10 years, every seven to 10 years. Why? Interest rates, mortgage rates, and now we have mortgage rates and inflation. Whoo! So here we go. This is the title. Home builder sentiment in February improved by the biggest amount in a decade. Here are the key points. America's home builders are becoming more bullish about the housing market. The National Association of Home Builders Index or Wells Fargo Housing Market Index rose by the highest amount month to month in 10 years. Well, good for you, Wells Fargo. Good for you, home builders. I bet you're stoked. It still doesn't change the fact that if you go on Lennar's website, Toll Brothers, and any of these other large companies, you'll see like the price of the home with a red line through it and a lower price. So how, what kind of confidence is that? Well, let's, let's read on, check this out. It says right here, uh, home builder confidence in the market for newly built single family homes in February rose seven points to 42, according to the National Association of Home Builders said anything below 50 is considered negative. All right, so we're still negative. So it rose seven points to 42, and it says anything below 50 is considered negative. Oh, that's the truth. We're still negative, it's still bad. But the headline, if you're a headline reader and you don't get deep into the weeds, you don't figure out the truth, you'd think, you'd literally go out to your real estate agent and go, I wanna buy because I don't wanna miss out. And that's what the agent's like, oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I could buy now because I ain't selling anything. I need the money. Sorry, I digress. Said so the index stood at 81 in February of last year before mortgage rates began to rise. It says builders say affordability is improving as mortgage rates fall back from their highs last fall. Are you serious? Like they fall in like four tenths of a percent. Like you tell me if you think they've fallen enough for the home builders to go, hee hee, let's do this. See, home builders need to say everything's good or they can't sell you a home. Oh, it's so easy to figure this stuff out. It says builders say affordability is improving as mortgage rates fall back from their highs of last fall and start to settle in a narrow range. A narrow, a narrow range of Literally too much, it costs too much. The average rate on the popular 30-year fixed mortgage rate has pe had peaked at 7.37% last October, according to Mortgage News Daily, but spent much of January in the low six range. Rates have moved up slightly in the past two weeks to the mid 6% range. All right, let's stop with that story. Check this out. 
This is a, a story from 2007, a headline. Index from 2007, okay? Index of home builder sentiment falls for eight straight month to new record low. So in October of 2017, I'm, I'm sorry, 2007, October of 2007, right? The end of 2007, we're going to 2008, Bear Stearns about to crash and close their doors, Lehman Brothers about to collapse, all right? The home builder sentiment had fallen for eight straight months, all right? That's, that's out of the Savannah Morning News. All right, now let's go to another story. This is February 15th of 2007. This is right before it started getting really bad, right? Okay, this is out of Reuters. February of 2007, home builder sentiment rebounds in February. It says right here, the NAHB Wells Fargo Housing Market Index, gosh darn, it's the same index, jumped to 40 from 35. Now remember guys, uh, anything under uh, 50 is, is low, is bad, right? So, okay, it had jumped to 40 from 35. It's highest jump, highest reading, since hitting 42 in June of 2006, the group said. The index had also, oh, excuse me, Jizo, oh, coffee. The index had also rebounded from a 15 year low of 30 notched in September of 2006. You can't make this stuff up. It says right here, economists polled by Reuters had forecast the index to be unchanged. Readings below 50 indicate more builders views that their market conditions are poor rather than favorable. So now check this out. Guys, think about how easy it is to, to cite or see a real estate crash in the making. Back in 2007, in February, the news headlines were reading exactly what they're reading right now. And the Home Builders Index literally was at the exact same point and jumped a little bit. And they said, it's rebounding. Bye, bye, bye. Yet, literally, eight months later, the news articles were literally were at eight-month low. And then you saw 2008. We are at like a 13-month low. We are now, as Lehman Brothers crashed, we are at a one and a half year, two year low. That's where we are right now. That's why I wrote the course. If you guys want in on the course, it's 80% off right now. I'll put a link below. But I'm telling you, I want to teach people how easy it is to figure out literally where we are, literally in the real estate market. You have time, but when I say you have time, you need to start getting ready now. You need to prepare your finances. You need to prepare your mind. You have to get ready for the onslaught of, of foreclosures because mortgage rates are not going down anytime soon. They're actually going to go higher because the Federal Reserve has to raise rates because of the inflation problem. Bam! This is so easy. Guys, I hope you have a great day. The Economic Ninja. Oh, I have a real estate channel too. I post a little bit of stuff there. I'm gonna start editing stuff over there and putting on some really good content. Uh, my editor is getting some free time. Uh, it's called The Real Estate Ninja. I hope you guys have a great day. The Economic Ninja is out.